Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. We are all witnessing a pace transition of the manufacturers to the new, smaller and denser TLC NAND flash chips and the new Plexters M7V SSD model is spotlighting exactly that as its key feature and as their first TLC based SSD ever. As you can see here we have a pretty standard looking but a bit more colorful product box with the model name and its capacity on the front and below it you can see some of the Plexter's added features but more on that later on. Going to the back you'll find your usual short multilingual overview, some basic specifications and a chart with rough performance figures for the different capacities throughout the range. Opening up the box, beside this quick start guide and warranty manual, you won't find anything else except the SSD itself. There isn't that much to talk about in regards of the SSD's outer shell and its design. Here we have a plain looking metal case, in the left top corner you can see the Plexer's logo and going to the other side you can see your usual declaration sticker, while on the front of course there's the must have SATA power and SATA 3 data connection. Since the outsides are pretty standard looking, I decided to take a peek inside of the Plexter M7V to see what does it carries hardware wise. Just a short disclaimer, don't do this if you want to keep your warranty. Upon opening right away you can see how small the PCB actually is, half the size of the case itself and nowadays that's a pretty common sight since the NAND flash chips are becoming more dense with each new generation of manufacturing process, so they don't need to pack that much NAND flash chips on it to achieve a certain capacity. Those are actually Toshiba's new 15 nanometer NAND flash TLC chips in question, each roughly carrying 64 gigabytes of capacity. Removing the PCB completely from the case and turning it around you'll come across onto two more NAND flash chips, one 512 megabyte NAND DRAM chip and last but certainly not the least the Marvel's 88SS1074 controller keeping everything in order. This is actually the first time ever that Blackster has embraced the TLC NAND flash technology into their SSD lineup. Beside this 256GB model, Plexer is offering two more for the M7V series, a 128 and 512GB ones, unfortunately and weirdly enough without the 1TB model, while well for the warranty you will get the pretty standard 3 year one. Connecting up the drive and putting it to the test, the M7V proved to deliver above average performance. Uncompressed and compressed sequential data read speeds are roaming between 500 and 530 megabytes per second, while for read speeds you'll be well above that, all the way to 560 megabytes per second in some cases. IOPS numbers were also pretty solid and all in all we got ourselves a pretty decent product considering the price point. The only thing that left me a bit disappointed were the read and write speeds for the 4K data blocks. As for the Plexter's extra features that I've mentioned on the beginning of the video, some of you are probably already familiar with the Plex Turbo feature which boosts drive's performance using system RAM as a cache. The concept is pretty similar to the SSHD which combines a small portion of SSD which then speeds up the regular HDD by caching the most frequently used data. Here we got some pretty bonkers benchmarking results as you can see it here, but since the SSD itself is pretty fast, it's hard to feel that difference in regular use. Beside that we also have Plex Vault software which encrypts and secures data on the system's drive and Plex Compressor software which compresses saved data on the fly so you can get that little bit of extra space on your drive. To top everything off Plexter also has their own SSD software called Plex Tool and up there you can update its firmware, look at some basic information about the drive and check its health status. That's it guys for this time, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and review of the Plexter's M7V SSD. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out our other videos from before.